You got a car behind me? Wow. Pretty quick. That's very, that's very quick. <laughs> have you felt anything like that? Yes. Okay. What kind of cars have you driven? Like GTOs and stuff. Okay. You kind of get a feel for the handling and anything you want. I'm just going to drive it around. It feels very flat. Yeah, the car doesn't really rock too much. The center mass is really, really good. Yeah, the bo there's really no body lean to it. And you can go around like um, like the, the roads where you go three quarters in a circle to get onto like an interstate that we went through. Mm -hmm. um, you can take those like near 70 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. um, it'll still grip the road. Now, how much does this car weigh? About 5,000 pounds, like 4,800. Well, Cardinals, that's batteries. <laughs> yeah. The batteries itself are around 1,700 pounds. Now, Chris, when you just came to a stop, did you let it do it on its own, or did you step on the no, brake? No, it's not, it's not set up at the moment to do that, so okay. I It does do regen um, it, a little bit, so you'll kind of feel as you let off the accelerator, it'll slow down a little bit. Right. I just, it, it would probably, if I would have not put on the brake, it probably would have tapped the back of the... Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, it, at the last second, it would apply emergency braking. Oh, it would? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it won't be very comfortable. It no. It slams like, on the brakes. Oh, okay. You can turn that to change the mode. Okay. Do I tap it up to stop it? Uh, that would be the turn signal. Just turn it all the way towards you. Oh, it should be, yeah. Hi. There we go. I must have bumped it when I turned it. Okay. And we will go straight through this light and then I'll left at the next one. So you can get one lane over to the left. So, next light. Yeah, you can feel the region breaking. Mm -hmm. it's slowing you down. So you kind of almost have to kind of hold the gas a little bit as you... If you do want to coast, yeah. Just and then we'll go um, 670 east. Whoa! That pulls. <laughs> okay. Very instantaneous. So even cars that are quicker, um, this one you get like really instant response. Right. This is all will drive, so it'll. <laughs> How does the rear wheel drive version do in the wet weather? Is it pretty? Um, it does awesome. It, there's not too much of a difference. I mean, you get more traction um, and control with the all wheel drive. The rear wheel drive and the electronic traction control um, it really doesn't slip either, so you still get a lot of traction. And we'll get um, pretty much all the way over to the left. And then you can uh, double click the auto path stop towards you. So go ahead and do that now. If it's the lower stop. Go on the Just to double click. There you go. Now you're on the auto path. You can go ahead and uh, change lanes. Oh, because I touched it. Oh shit, sorry. I didn't know. Pay attention to it. Yeah, don't turn the steering wheel. Pay oh, that's why. Okay. So I gotta let go. Okay. Uh, it's not on autopilot right now. It turns off when you turn the steering wheel. Okay. So double click um, the stop turn, the lower stop. There we go. Okay, so let go. No, and actually enable it once. Just once you enable it, take your hands off the wheel. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna let go. Ooh, sorry. Is it in it? There we go. Alright, now we got it. <laughs> sorry. That's all new. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very different. Yeah, yeah that does, like, that does, that does mm -hmm. like get your nerves a little bit. So it's saying... Okay, it's still on. So like right now... So if I turn the turn signal on, it'll automatically go to the depth of their lane. Yeah, so we can go to the right here. Okay. And so you can see it crosses the dotted line. And it won't cross solid lines. Um, huh. Just an added safety feature that can be run trying to cross over here onto you know, that part of the road. Not gonna do that. It'll read 
read the mile per hour sign and slow yeah. down. Yeah. Well, it won't affect your set speed. It'll just basically post it there and let you know. Um, but you can see the cars in front of you there. Mm -hmm. uh, the two cars there. So it just shows up. Um, I believe it's showing light and dark because of the color of the car. I don't know if that's coincidence. Right. I haven't. Uh, so at nighttime, it can still see that dark car. Yeah. No, it looks at about a 45 degree angle. And it did actually change, adjust the speed when the car in front of you slows down. Right. Huh. So coming up here then, the car will be braking itself then. Yep. And just uh, make sure that you take over before you take the left turn. Okay. So it won't do the 90 degree turn. It'll try to basically get back on the interstate. Oh. So make sure you... <laughs> right. So we're going left? Mm -hmm. And you, you don't touch anything actually. It'll come to a place stop behind this car. Oh. But then you gotta turn here. <laughs> so it's gonna well, then, so for the complete turn, you have to take over then. Mm -hmm. So then you oh, just okay. put your phone on the brake. Yeah. So now you're in uh, manual driving. I prefer manual driving. Well, no, yeah. it, it did it's something it you just got to get used to. Right. You're not well, used you to the car like, driving I, itself. You're used to you driving. Don't you just click Once it. you get used to it, like you can do it on the fly, but when you're not used to it, kind of like first like mm, click, click. Yeah. One of the main things is um, a lot of people click the autopilot towards them, but it's not actually like enabled or like available. So right now you can see it's available because of the two gray icons. Right. And that's when you need to make sure that it, like, it shows that before you enable it. Okay. So that's one of the easiest things to well, do. Well, you're not going to use it in, like, in town. Right. You're, use it. you're only using it. The weird thing is it still is enabled, so, like, you could use it. <laughs> it probably would be. The it'll, question. It'll run through stop signs and stop lights, so it, it's not. Right. Like, you can technically use it, but you want to make sure that you're stopping at stop lights. Right. So we'll take a left test. The question I do have is how does this car react, like, if you would sit outside and do you just had a there? heavy storm? Yeah. Um, I mean, it'd be fine. It'd be just like a normal car. That um, has no problems like starting up or anything like that? No, or shouldn't. Okay. Well, it's not like starting a gas engine. Well, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. we're stopping. And yeah, right now you can't use either one because it's not. Mm -hmm. I think it has to be going one mile per hour. Oh, that's a lot of water. Yeah. Debbie's like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Uncle Chris is driving crazy. What the hell's going on? Man? It's definitely comfortable. It's comfortable. Is there any options for anything here, or is it just open? Yeah, yeah, you can get a center console from Tesla. There's also a couple third-party ones. And then there's a 12-volt outlet and then two USB ports here. I didn't even know that was. I saw a button. I was like, "What's that for?" <laughs> and then the hazard. So these two buttons are um, legally required to be physical buttons, and so we made that the only two buttons. <laughs> right. Hmm. Except for what's on the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. well, you can control. Um, um, you can actually change what that scroll wheel controls um, by oh. selecting one of those, and then. Right. The other one is always volume. So you can do 12%, 20%. There you go. Okay. He's kind of got to ease in the throttle, it feels like, because it feels like if you give it a lot of throttle. Right, yeah, it'll take off. Looks <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get one later. That's letting off. That's letting off the gas completely. You almost feel like you have to give it just a little bit when you're coming. In. But the yep. more the more you let off, the probably recharges more. Correct. Yep. So. 
So it depends on when you start regening. So sometimes you can get all the way down to around four miles an hour before you even need to use the brake. Oh. Other times it's like you're too close and you might have to apply the brake. So it can recharge itself then? Yep, when you're braking. Okay. Not completely though, it's just oh, a, yeah. it's supplemental, correct? It's about 60,000 watts. So it's it's quite a bit. It's like a thousand light bulbs at once. Um, but when you're at full power, that's like 320,000 watts. So, um, if you accelerate slowly and use like 60,000 watts, but then as you accelerate back down, you're effectively regaining 80 to 90 percent of that same energy. Right. Yeah, you kind of just have to ease into it then. There's probably, that probably, there's different modes, correct? That probably changes based on... In our P85D and P90D, you can change the modes of the acceleration. So it goes from sport to ludicrous or sport to insane. Um, but on these, it's just, it's just one mode. Since it's not um, that crazy performance. It is pretty fast, but it's not like the 2.8 Yeah, right. Now insane's the faster than ludicrous, right? In, in Ludicrous is the one that's faster. Okay. So that would be uh, like 2.8 seconds. Insane mode is uh, 3.2. I just wanted to see what it would do in town. Yeah, it's an autopilot right now. You didn't you touch? You just touched the thing, so it's gonna go off. So and actually, yeah. I actually do the stoplights just fine as long as there's a car in front of you. Uh, um, it's just when there's no car, it'll right. it'll it want to run. Yep. <laughs> Oh, the car did it. <laughs> officer, the car. Officer, the <laughs> officer. <laughs> what stoplight said? Yeah. Officer, it's coming in the future. Officer, the car did it. Then hopefully that works. That works. We can um, pull off into here and switch drivers. Sure. Sure, you want Jason driving? Only from no. I. Ha 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 Ironic for the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so all I have to do is hit this right yep, and it'll automatically park. Yep. What do you hit? Well, that's I still, I kind of like, because a lot of companies would probably do the knob or something. I It gives you that sense if you're in a normal car. Yeah. Having this here versus having, I hate the turn knob. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah. I don't know, there's all kinds of different things companies are putting in. Right. 